All right, hello, hello, what's up everyone? So Gids here for another Talker's Trials video and I was looking for a comp to play and I saw the Ziggs reroll comp is getting pretty popular in ladder right now in rank. And I tried to actually try it here on Talker's Trials and let's see how it actually goes. So this one's pre-recorded because I did not expect the game to go well. I was actually thinking of either playing the front frontline Ezreal comp or just play with the uh, Ziggs comp right here but it looks like we've been given a lot of Ziggs copies already but we have an Ezreal one over here so I was contemplating whether or not to do this one but we got dropped a tier as well so might as well just probably go with the Ziggs comp right here but we'll see right so of course first few stages we're just uh, doing the usual, clearing all the stages, getting all the drops, and just scaling up my board and looking for items that make sense here. So it looks like here the slam is either a JG, JG blue buff and adaptive helm onto Ziggs. That's usually what you want to itemize him with. And Regent item, usually it's going to be the Regent adaptive helm. Regent adaptive helm is so good. And this here, we got drop another rod. So, and this one, no... No sword, no sword components. This is why I think, yeah, this is where we decided to actually not go with the Ezreal comp and just decided to push through with Honeymancy with the Ziggs reroll comp. Okay, so here we're just gonna complete the stage again. And on the J stage, of course, we're going to try to get our Ziggs 3 already. Ziggs 3 and of course Blitzcrank 3 because they're both first uh, one costs. And here, of course, hindsight, we took buried treasures because with Honeymancy, you're still gonna be able to get um Vagar. So Vagar 2 is still very good here. So yeah, here's our roll down. We're just rolling that da rolling down, picking up every one cost that we can get over here. And yeah, just gonna get our Blitz 3 and Zig 3 over here. That's our Blitz 3, but I had to roll deep here just to get our Zig 3, but okay, there you go. Use our tiny duplicators and itemize our Blitzcrank as well. So we have the Spark and we have our items on Ziggs already. So I think this is best in slot Ziggs, right? This is best in slot Ziggs. Okay, we got drop three components plus one more component over here. I think we're in a good spot already, right? We don't have to roll. We don't have to do anything. We're just chilling over here. We're just getting scores again for item greed. So yeah, I did not expect to actually play some Vagar here again. So good thing Vagar has not shown himself yet. Because if he did, he's definitely just going to steal the show and deal so much more damage than this Ziggs right here. But yeah, we still have our Ziggs right here. I think positioning wise, yeah. Um, middle Ziggs in the middle is pretty good. But Ziggs in the corner is okay as well. Ziggs in the middle here is because... There's a lot of units on the corners, and yeah, if you corner him here, once you clear out anything that's blocking the corners, you will be able to hit the backline carries already, like this Jace right here, and that Jace over there, it's dead. Like, every shot that he does on the backline instantly kills everything. And we put in Arcana here. So it's basically 5 Honeyman C plus Arcana units, right? That's basically what we want to do here. And boom, look at how instantly everything is just dying man this comp is another easy one to get if you're looking for a way to actually clear this game mode again chaos mode it's pretty simple we're just taking any components that we can get here we're just doing item greed again i think this is losable but no doesn't look like it we already sniped one of the backline units and yep, everything's fine okay it's not losable yeah this one as well i think you should have cornered here I think I should have cornered here because if I cornered here, we have a straight line into the back. And it didn't matter anyway because everything is just dying. Oh. Everything's just being vaporized here. This time around, I think Zinx should be moved. Yep, we move him on the corner here so that he starts targeting one of the Kalis that will be jumping in so that she does not jump in. Actually, luckily, he found a Morgana here, but. It's not pretty good if she's not printing us anything because she's not even itemized at all but we're just pushing for levels here we don't need anything else like it's just levels at this point level 9 level 10 and get our three star legendaries and items here spell blades are spell blades pretty good for sure 
Um, Blossoming Lotus is okay, but we also we already have a crit item on Ziggs. I mean, additional crit damage is okay, but nah. And we're keeping some mage units here on the bench. Keeping some mage units here on the bench so that we can prep for the Vagar. Vagar still not showing up though. So that's pretty sad. And we got drop spatula here. So yeah, instantly popping this anvil for a honeymancy. Animancy emblem. So now we have five Animancy without even having a Vagar still. <laughs> so we still have no Vagar, but that's fine. Vagar's like my late game carry now. Oh, game is lagging. But okay. Uh, I think we lose this. I think we lose this. We have to slam some tank items here. We have to slam some tank items here. I'm too greedy. I'm too greedy at this point. I need to slam some tank items here. Like Redemption is pretty good. Adapt another adaptive is pretty good on the Blitzcrank as well. But because I did not slam anything here, I'm screwed. I'm dead. I did not even insta kill that uh, Tristana on the corner. It needed two hits, and yeah, I'm dead here. I take one damage because I was not careful enough. This time around, we want to move. Tris uh, okay, yeah. I mean, middle is good because we're still going to target this Nomsi because this um, this Molder is going to be moving. Now we have the Vagar. We have the Vagar and we have our Nora as well. Nora is our mage now. We don't need Vex. Yep. We're still trying to roll for... I think we're trying to roll for a Vagar 2 here or a Zerat or something. We decide to sell this. Yeah. We sell this... Um, what's his name? The hunter guy. <laughs> Forgot. Kogmao. Yeah, we sell him because we don't need him. We're only at 5 Honeymancy. There's no way for me to get to 7 Honeymancy. And we luckily got a Zerath here and we can start using him here for Ascendant Odds. Best Ascendant Odds that you want to get, of course, is the one that lets you level up for 3 XP or for 3 gold. And the other one is increasing the four co uh, 5 cost odds. And I think I lost here again. What? No way. Yeah, this is me being greedy, man. I I, I don't have a frontline. Frontline is non-existent. And we decide to sell the Morgana here. Honeymancy on my... Wait, really? I put Honeymancy on... Oh, uh, Nomsi. Nora? Okay. I mean, that's fine. Okay, this is very, very dangerous. But... Oh my god. <laughs> this Vagar clears, man. This Vagar. This Vagar won, by the way. Vagar won. So we take a Shojin for Vagar and we take a Redemption for Blitzcrank. So now we're starting to itemize. I'm too greedy with the items, man. I'm too greedy with the items. I think I'll still make 3 million gold with this. A 3 million points for my score. But that's too greedy. But okay, Vagar 2 is already good enough, I think. Yeah. Vigor 2 with one item is actually obliterating everything, man. Vigor 2 with one item is obliterating everything. Okay, 5 cost odds. That's good. We got plus 4%. And we're just gonna chill again for a bit. Until we get the thing that lets us level up for 3 gold each. That's the time I'm going to go. I'm just rolling for... Yeah, I'm just rolling for Ascendant. And this is, this is it. This is what we needed to level up because it makes it very, very cheap to level. If you have no units to put in, Morgana would have been great here to get extra smolders for money, but it's fine. Don't really have to. It's fine, right? Okay. All right. We have two star Serat. And the beauty of getting Serat 3 early is actually you get to three star multiple five costs with him. So yeah, this is why we want him be three starred ASAP because he's like the one that gives so much so much gold for you. It's like 130 gold per third. So we take new recruit here for the duplicator and we're just leaving it over there. We're not buying it because it's gonna take up a bench spot. And I think we sack this stage as well, right? We sack this stage as well. Oh I decided to transfer the items over to Vagar already because Vagar is already too strong here. <laughs> this Vagar too, Vagar 2 is already so much stronger than the Ziggs. And with triple mana items, hell yeah. We're just gonna be casting infinite. Casting infinite times on this Vagar. What's the AP? It was like plus 400, right? Take another adaptive. We itemize Ziggs again. 
And we have no use for these duplicators. This is just money. Okay, I think this is where we try to roll. Yep. I think two more Zerats, right? Two more Zerats because we're gonna be getting one more duplicator after this round, I believe. Yeah, okay, so I decide to save. I decide to save here. Okay, yeah, this is the duplicator. This is the duplicator. Oh, it's not yet the duplicator. Oh, so it's one more round. We have one more round. So we're just... Okay. One more Zerat, man. That's one more Zerat. We're just saving... We're just saving the Ascendant... What do you call this? Ascendant Tide. Ascendant Charm. Just saving here. The Ascendant Charm. Okay. Fight. Alright. Yeah, we're just saving the Ascendant Charm here for Serat, of course. We don't want to be buying anything. Okay, and then this is the turn, I'm pretty sure. Now we get the Duplicator. If we get the Duplicator here, we're just rolling it down. It, it's just one Serat, right? Okay, that's third item on our dude. Okay, good thing I did not buy that. Okay, rolling down. Rolling down. Come on, give me my Serat. Uh, when, when you're trying to roll down for a Serat 3, Make sure to never buy any charms that you see. Like no matter how good it is, because you're actually not gonna get your yeah, your set of charm right here, the uh, death charm. So it's very important to actually get it. And now that we have it, pretty easy now. We're gonna get 100 gold from this stage, 100 gold from the next stage, and we should have multiple five costs here. So it's just all roll downs now and should be over. Yep, rolling down. I'm kind of confused who to get because I have like eight copies of each later on. Yeah, this Milio. I have eight copies of like who is this? Diana? No, not even Diana. I don't have eight copies yet. Oh, this yeah, the huge problem here. I don't know who to sell, but I should have sold my 5 Honeymancy like much earlier. I wanted to add with 5 Honeymancy, but it wasn't really possible, right? But I should have sold the Honeymancy already. Should have sold Honeymancy here already. I don't need Honeymancy here. I can sell this Ziggs and sell this um, Nunu. Right, get another 100 gold here and final roll down for our 3 star 5 costs. Yeah, yeah, this is too hard, man. I have eight copies of Milio with this, and I skipped it. I skipped the one Milio. I should have just sold for bench for space, man. And then now I try to sell. Yeah, I, yeah, I sold here, and we st we're still not getting anything, man. And I sold a Diana, and Diana's gonna come back to the shop for sure. Yep, there you go. Finally, an Aura three. That's gonna free up some bench space, and we'll be able to buy up some more Diana copies. There's the Milio 3. Diana, there's a smaller 3, and there's a Camille 3, and now we're broke. We have no more money. And I have like 8 copies of Diana as well over here. I could have just sold the Nami, the Vagar, to try to hit this Diana 3, but uh, we're all good. And picture, picture. Right? This is our final fight, and of course, it's going to be hella easy, man. Like, there's not gonna be a problem here, right? There's not gonna be a problem here. I specifically dodged the Morgana 3 and also the Briar 3 just so I don't get griefed. Like, those two 5 costs are basically the ones that you want to dodge as much as possible. So, yeah, 3.1M again this time around. So, yeah, pretty good. You can still go for Ziggs. Ziggs is pretty good here. Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have comments, questions, or a build that you want me to try, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye bye.